he's unbelievably powerful, he's incredibly intense, and at times totally unpredictable. He was one of the most compassionate, one of the most intuitive people, one of the most empathic people I think I've ever met. One of the most important things we can do is sell ourselves to others. And Charlie does it so easy. Charles didn't have an act, he didn't have a performance. He had Charlie. He literally spent his life giving himself away. So much of what I teach is the wisdom he deposited in my life. So much of what now I will teach is what I learned through Charlie. He would break down your own inhibitions, you know, the things that you'd say, ah, I'm not going to do that. And before you knew it, not only were you doing it, but you were enjoying it. He was very charismatic. He, nobody filled the room the way that he did. Uh, and people were just drawn to him. Because you see, the privilege of working with people isn't that you teach them. The privilege of working with people is that they teach you. Because you see, life isn't for people who like people, it's for people who like to be learning. And the only way I can be learning about life is being involved with you. And the more insights I have into you, the more insights I have into me. And the more insights I have into me, the more insights I have into you. I could work with a wall. I could work with a wall, but you have more resiliency sometimes. See? You would have to identify him as maybe one of the best self-educated individuals that I've ever known. You know, we use that term, self-made man, but he truly was. I've been learning that half the success in a home, half the success in a church, half the success in a sale and interview, half the success in anything is atmosphere, atmosphere. And anybody with any sensitivity knows atmosphere doesn't come out of thin air. Somebody has to create atmosphere. He was very famous for saying, you'll be the same in five years as you are today, except for the people you meet in the books you read. He read thousands and thousands of books, and he was just constantly reaching out. Keep reading, thinking, and sharing. Reading, thinking, and sharing. Don't read to be smart. Read to be real. Don't read to be big. Read to be down to earth. Don't read to memorize. Read to realize. Don't read to learn. Read sometimes to unlearn. And don't read a lot. Read just enough to keep yourself hungry and curious and getting younger as you get older. Read. Charlie was used of God to breathe life back into people's lives and to give them hope. He was as close as anybody I've known to being Christ-like. I'll help you. I'll give you my blood. I can drop a tear to drop of a hanky, but when I help you, my friend, I'll make sure I'm the last guy you ever go to for help because I love you enough and respect you enough that I want you to join me over here as a giver of sympathy not a wonder. Everyone's mission is while they're on the spinning rock is they want to leave a lasting indelible impression and leave something bigger than themselves. And Charlie actually accomplished that. You pass on that legacy of love, service, and kindness that Charlie Tremendous Jones is so famous for. You know, there's only one thing you got to do to have a tremendous life. You know what it is? Sure, you know. Got to be learning to be thankful. Thankful. The first mark of greatness is thankfulness. The first sign of smallness is thanklessness. When you go to sleep at night, when you wake up in the morning, wake up saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.